Okay, so for the record, this is me nice and measured, calm, very dry. I'm in a good mood. I'm not miserable. <laughs> I'm not stropping because I will be this afternoon because I am determined and being very stubborn to get out for a decent walk in a very exposed bit of North Yorkshire. And the weather forecast this afternoon is for heavy, persistent rain. This is a western weather front that is pretty much laying a blanket of dark cloud of rain across the whole of the north of England. Um, there are little variations every sort of 15 minutes, half an hour. So it may ease off in between, it may not, but yeah, I'm determined to do this walk today because I've been ill last weekend, recovered this week, and this day it's been in my diary to get out and do something. And I want to see these old churches on this route, a bit of the Foss Way. I want to see some of the old archaeology in the landscape. I mean, I've accepted that I'm going to get wet through, but yeah, let's just laugh about it later. Well, long story short, it isn't as bad a weather as I thought it was going to be. The forecast for persistent rain just hasn't come through yet. It could well do. It's about half past 12 at the moment. I've arrived at Sheriff Hutton in North Yorkshire. I'm beginning a 10, 11 sort of mile northwest walk towards Easingwold. We're going to go through the villages of Farlington, Martin in the Forest, possibly Crake, see the old medieval and later churches there, which is really why I came out here today. So, so far, I've just left Sheriff Hutton. I'm pointing there at the ruins of the medieval castle for which the town of the little village is so famous. Although it has a fantastic parish church as well, which I also want to say I have not gone to and I'm not going to be featuring in this video. St. Helen's medieval church is iconic, but I'm going to save that for another time. Least of all, because I just want to stick to my plan because if the weather does get worse, I don't want to get caught out. I want to get most of the walk done because I've not been to these churches at Farlington Martin in the Forest before. I've been to Craig and Easingwold. But I do know that Dr. Alan Barton, who's on YouTube, has a fantastic video on one of the medieval effigies in St. Helen's Church at Sheriff Hutton. So I will link that below in the video description. But we are beginning this walk on OS Map Explorer 300. And we're going to be actually finishing the walk in Easingwold on Explorer Map 299, which is for Ripon and Borough Bridge. So if you want to follow along, who the hell follows along? Anyway, those are the maps I'm using. Let's just get cracking. Okay, let's just say that got rained off. Okay, so that did not go to plan whatsoever. Um, I've ended up back at the building I said I would not be coming to in this video. That is the parish church in the village of Sheriff Hutton, dedicated to St. Helen and the Holy Cross. It is a fantastic building, so it's not a waste of a video to have to come back here. I've eaten my lunch, dried off in a pew, and now I'm gonna go around and take some photos and do what I did in my last video, just have a bit of fun with the camera. Whilst we're here, we can have a quick look at some of the special items of historic and artistic interest. There are plenty dating from the medieval pre-Reformation period uh, into the early modern period, the 17th, 18th century, including fantastic box pews, some monuments and all sorts of other things, brass monuments set in the floor. So we'll do that. But if you're looking for a really well-informed video, obviously I haven't had time to prepare for this as much because I intended to go elsewhere on an entirely different walk um, and see entirely different church buildings. If you want a more informed video, I do recommend again going to go and watch Dr. Alan Barton's video on this church on his YouTube channel, which was released a couple of weeks ago. So the box pews in this church are a complete hodgepodge of different periods, sort of 1700s, 1600s. They even use bits of old screens from the 15th century, apparently. So it reminds me of Holy Trinity Goodrum Gate. They're just a complete mix match. They've been patch repaired hundreds of times. They got woodworm, they've been repainted. They're just all cobbled together and they're brilliant for it. It adds to the character so much that there is just such a diverse array of seating in here. It's just so many different kinds. There's sort of 
ones with pine paneling, you've got bits of oak, some of them have been treated, some haven't. That's so what I love about this is that there's no simple aspect to the seating arrangement here. It's just been kept and adapted hundreds of times. And that's what I love about church buildings. But you can see the evolution in something as pedestrian and everyday as seating. It's brilliant. if you come into some of the box pews you can see that there's some interesting uh <clears throat> not quite so modern not quite so early graffiti who knows when it's from actually but some good initials it makes you wonder if there's been a local school group in here uh, or just some of the regular worshippers over the centuries i mean some of it clearly reflecting the local uh, farming communities you got pitchforks i know that there's some birds around as well um also some initials and over here if you look on the inside, you can see consecutive uh, initials. Who knows what they are, actually? But yeah, full of them. If you look through the rest of the pews, you can see loads more as well. Okay, so that about does it for this week. Hopefully my walks in North Norfolk next week will be far more successful. Thanks for joining me. Do like and subscribe and see you soon.